Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use optional parameters inside of class constructors. Um, it's a really useful way of overloading constructors without actually making multiple constructors. Um, it's really useful. Um, when I, after I found out how to do this, I always use this method now. Well, wherever applicable, but yeah. Um, to understand this video, you might need to watch my other video that I made on optional parameters and named parameters. But if you don't, if you're good at C sharp, you should be able to follow along. Um, here, I just have a simple console app application, as you can see, and I have a contact class which stores the name, the phone number, and the address. It has a constructor which takes no values at the moment and it has a method to print the details. As you can see there I have I made a new instance of the cons contact class and there's nothing in the I'm not passing any values to the contact class. So I'm going to start by typing in some optional parameters in the constructor of the class. So let's do that. We'll name it string I name. I'll just put an I in the constructor just to um, make it different from the actual field. And we'll make the default unknown. Oops. And string address. Well, see, even though we have three values here, you'll see we don't get an error in our constructor. But that's because these values are completely optional. And what we want to do here is assign them name to, name to I name. Phone to iPhone. <laughs> iPhone. and address to i address as you can see you got contact one and when we run the program you will have the values unknown for all of them and that's completely normal so say you only have the name of a um, person or whatever you're t making the program for well, you just type in the name of the input parameter, colon, then the string name, we'll just call this person Bob. And now if you run this, as you can see the name is Bob. Or maybe for some reason you don't have the name and you only have the phone number, we can always change this to 111222. Two, two. That's yeah. I don't even know if that's a real format of a phone number, but there we go. So if we try to do this without optional parameters, this code would have been like much longer. You, pro you probably need to have created multiple con constructors, and it would have been really hard to keep up because, say, you have two um, of the values but you don't, you don't have the third, so you'd have to make a method in your class to only put in two of the values. So I found uh, optional parameters are much more useful and it saves you a lot of coding. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.